Welcome to lesson three of the October 2022 French Beat It Vasquez Beat Along. You don't want to miss this. Hi everyone, my name is Ben Lee, beat instructor here at the Beat Floor Studio. In the last lesson, I showed you how to make beaded rusca sleeves. Today, I'll be giving you a bit of a challenge with these berries using a technique I developed called the Continuous Split Basic. This is an advanced lesson and it may take a few trials to get the hang of it. But I believe in you and know that you can do it. Determine how many of these berries you like to make. You can have as many or as little as you want for the entire branch. Later, we'll be making the leaf by first attaching the berry. For reference, in my sample, I use about eight berries. String about 23 inches of size 11 red seed beads onto a spool of 26 gauge red copper core wire. So before I begin, I wanna cut out some lacing wire and we want seven inches of um, 30 gauge red wire here and just set this aside. We want to start out with an eight bead basic. So let's move eight beads down to the end of the wire. And for the top basic wire, we want seven inches for the top basic wire. So let's put um, 16 beads on to the um, loop here. Let's make the twisted wire and loop to be about three inches. The twisted wire, um, we only want about one quarter inch or so. All right, so if this is too long, we want to coil it up. All right, first, let's make the first three rows with a rounded top and round at bottom. All right, so now let's take this lacing wire here and we're going to start um, it along the center. Do a lace as you go along the center here. So now we want to cup this onto our finger here. Just take the, the back of the unit here and just cup it over your forefinger. This. And now we're going to make the next row here. And we want to lace this in. I like to lace it in before I finish the row. Okay, so now let's take the top wire here and let's bend it down a bit. We don't want it completely straight. And wrap it around. Okay. And let's lace this in. Feed some more beads on to the working wire here. And with the twisted wire, we also want to bend it as we go. Okay. And we want to have seven rows total. Don't rush this process.
Okay. So this kind of got bent out of shape or back to it being straight. So just rebend it at the at the angle and lace this in. And feed some more beads on. Right, so this is what it looks like. So now let's undo the top basic wire here or uncoil it and I'm going to bend it along the unit here, the first berry unit. Okay, just bend it along the back here. It's going to take the working wire and wrap it around the base. Okay. All right, so the working wire should be on the right hand side too. So now at this point, we want to measure the twisted wire. Okay, so let's move this back wire out of the way. And you want to measure from where you start wrapping to where you end your wraps. So you see this small bit of wire right here. This is not where you want to start your measurement. You want to start your measurement where you start wrapping. So I think where some of you might be having problems before is that you're measuring from right below the bead and um, and not where you start wrapping. You take your ruler and measure. And for me, I have 3 16 inch. Okay, so if it's off by a little bit, like a millimeter or two, that's not going to be a big deal. All right, so it's just when you have like three millimeters or more is when you might run into problems. All right, so now we're going to take the working wire and the top basic wire and twist it. And now I'm going to measure the twisted wire. And I wrap a little bit too much. Let's try again. Okay, now it's good. All right. And I, th I think I could have made it work even with that extra wrap anyways. So now we're going to put eight beads onto the top basic wire. All right. So I'm going to redo the top. Now let's make our first three rows. Okay, when we get to the top here, that, all right, remember, we're going to cup this here over our finger. And then with the top basic wire, we're going to just bend it slightly. And we're going to make our next wrap. And here, let's bend at the twisted wire here too. Hold on to it. Cup it as we are wrapping. And there we go. Okay. Two more rows. Okay, so I have the second part done. Now, if you have extra bare wire space on your twisted wire, um, what you can do is you can take the working wire and pull it down and that will move the whole thing down so that the ends of this unit meets the end of this unit. That works um, well if there's just small amount of space in between. 
not if there's a lot, but if there's just a little bit, um, that is definitely a good trick that you can use. Now, this is the first unit. You want to pull back the, the wire right here on the first unit. I want the top wire right here to be able to close the barrier later. So I'm going to cut along the bottom just enough to wrap it in. Um, this is about three, four millimeters on the bottom here. And bring this top wire up. Now we're going to need our pliers and just wrap it around the first unit along the bottom. And this is the only time we're going to do that. The next two units, we're not going to need to do that. Where are you? Okay, here we are. Okay. So now we're going to lace these two units together. Okay, so let's do some more cupping, okay, and line these up where they would meet each other. All right, get these wires out of the way, and take the lacing wire and go through the wire and lace it in. Now, when you lace it in, it will pull the next um, row like this, it'll pull it and you'll see this big gap um, in between the rows and that's okay because you're going to um, pull this and pull the next one and then the next one also. So, all right. Don't rush it. This is um, something that you can't rush. And if it helps, um, take your pliers and pull the lacing wire. All right. Now the next one. Okay. And you can shape as you go too, right? That is my mantra. Okay, shape as you go. I'm all about lacing as you go and shaping as you go. Okay. All right, now you've got two of these laced in. Okay, now the next part, now we're going to undo the any twist in the twisted wire here and put eight beads on each side of the loop. Cut at the top and make a loop so the beads don't fall out. And with this here, you want to look at the lacing wires to see which one is the longest. And then that is um, where you want to make your next unit. 
So I'm going to, and it just so happens that my working wire is right here next to um, this cut wire, which is next to next to the um, longest lacing wire. But if the longer lacing wire is on this side, you would want to move the working wire um, right here, so you can wrap, uh, so you can make the twisted wire on this cut wire first. Um, so, and because the longer lacing wire is on this side, I'm going to make the new twisted wire on this new cut split basic wire. And here we are. So I want 3 16th inch, whatever unit of measurement you're going with, go with that. Okay. I'm American, so I'm doing inches. That's just how my brain is wired and I can't stop that. All right. So, okay. So now let's make our unit here. Up this here, bend this slightly. All right, so now I have this unit done and we're going to lace this in this way. It's the longer lacing wires right here. Let's line this up. Get the, get any wires out of the way. All right. Now I'm going to take this wire, lacing wire, and lace the next two rows together. Take your um, finger and hold on to it from the, from the inside here and lace that in. Okay, we are almost there. We are almost there. So, got all, th got three of the units laced together. So now let's make, let's make another twisted wire and make the last unit here. That looks good.
<laughs> right. Let's cut this in. So that's the last unit here. So um, what we want to do is we want to take the working wire and pull it towards the, the inner center. So this is where we want to end the wires here. I'm going to cut about three inches of bare wire off of the spool. So that's one of the, it's going to be the tail wire there. undo any of the, the loops here. Let's just straighten out the wires because we'll be gathering them all and it would be nice if they were all not all loopy. Right? Okay. Now that we got that taken care of, let's shape it and then line it up. Wow. Well, but this last one, you can use either lacing wire. It just depends on um, which one is longer, which one you prefer. I just rather have a, a longer wire, longer lacing wire than not, just in case. Now you're thinking, Fen, what are you doing? Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> and I hear you. Why am I doing this to myself? Okay, so take this lacing wire and bring it along the inside here. Okay, you, you still have room to see here and also to work, right? So, lacing wire is here, so it's, it's right here. You just kind of pull it open, pry it open. All right, now take the lacing wire and Put it through the next two rows. Now, right here, uh, because it's such a tight space, you don't necessarily have to lace every single row together. You can skip a row and then just kind of lace two rows together instead. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, just lace. I'm going to skip one row and lace two rows in together instead just okay okay right that that would just make it faster so what i did here was i skipped lacing this row and i just had brought the lacing wire um, over the third row all right it's fine it'll be fine Okay, so I'm putting the wire through and I'm just taking my pliers and bring that, bring that over. Okay. And, and it's not even straight in there, which is fine. You can't see it, right? So I'm not going to be picky about it. Okay, so I'm lacing two rows in. Okay. My row was here, or the last row that I laced was here, and now bring it. Uh, I'm bringing the lacing wire over through this row here. So that's two rows. All right. So bring it down, and then take your pliers and lace. Use tools to help you. You can even use tweezers. And that will even help too. Mm. All right. I'm just going to lace these two rows together. Do I want to lace two rows? Okay, because it's the last two rows, I'm just going to, I'm not going to lace the two rows together. I'm going to do each individual row because it's, 
the last two rows I can it's easier to see and get okay Now I'm going to lace this through. Okay. There's still room here, so don't worry. There's still room for you to do stuff. I'm just going to bring it back. I'm going to trim this here, leaving just a little bit, maybe about a couple millimeters, maybe two, and then just bring it using your tools or maybe even tweezers and bring it to the back. All right, here we are. Okay, and let's put our fingers in there and shape it. Okay, gather all the wires and I'm going to put my finger over the top and bend it Push it gently. Yeah. Okay. That could happen. It's fine. It's still fine. <laughs> all right. Okay. So we're going to gather all the wires and twist. And we can still bend it. Still gently shape it. So put the wires in between your fingers, kind of scissor your fingers together, and then take your thumb and gently um, apply pressure and twist the wires. Just scissor the, the base there as you're twisting it. And keep applying pressure, gentle pressure. You don't want to squish it, which I have done. If you like this project and would like to learn more, you may be interested in my two French beading books. My first book, Beat Flora, The Revival of French Beaded Flowers, will walk a beginner step by step on how to make French beaded flowers. And if you like this Ruskis project and would like more projects like this, you may want to pick up my second book, The Flora, French Beaded Branches in Bloom. You can get signed copies on my website or buy at all major book retailers online.